You're safe now. Who is it? Hi. The doctor said I could come in. Is now okay? I guess. Do you remember me? You interviewed me after you went missing. You're Detective Paris, right? Right. Ever since Eve's disappearance, I've been working closely with your mother-in-law, Mary Shepard. Okay. So how can I help you? I'm sorry to hear about your accident. It must have been horrific. And I'm glad that you and Zach survived. But the real reason I'm here is because we think Lilith is somehow involved in Eve's disappearance. You don't seem surprised. I'm not. All right. Do you know where to find her then? She's dead. Excuse me? You heard me. My wife's dead. Noah, are you sure? I saw it happen with my own eyes. I can still hear her screams. I don't know what to say. There's nothing left to say. I'll tell you everything. How are you? I'm okay, I guess. Where's mom? Do you remember much from last night? I still remember everything. With a fall like that, the doctors have no idea how we made it. They say it's a miracle we survived. Will you be able to walk again? The doctors say, yes, with some hard work. But about your mother, the police are still looking for her. Is mom gone? I saw something this morning. Was it mom? I'm not sure. I was in a lot of pain and was probably hallucinating. But you know what? I'm sure the police will let us know something as soon as they find out. last night. It's nice to see you too, Mary. No, how are you? Are you hurt? Feeling better? 
We don't have time for pleasantries. We need to find Eve and Lilith. I have already told it to perish everything I know. There's nothing more you can tell me? No. Don't lie, Noah. Now's the time for honesty. Mary, you and honesty have never been friends. But if you crave honesty, here's some. I've never met anyone so unfeeling. Have you no conscience? No sense of compassion? Noah, I don't have time for this. Just tell me, what happened to Eve? What about Lilith? Don't you care about what happened to her? Of course I do. What's wrong with you, Noah? What's wrong? What's wrong? Lilith's dead. Gwen's dead. Eve's dead. Last night, Zack and I went through hell. We drove off a side of a cliff and barely survived. You're insane! Those things are true! They're all true. And perhaps none of this would have happened had you shown Lilith just an ounce of compassion when she was alive. Are you blaming me for all the nonsense that you're making up? Lilith took Eve to the cabin to tell her that she was her mother. She did that in secrecy because of you. I know she didn't expect Eve at such a young age, but you stopped them from bonding, from allowing Lilith to be Eve's mother. How dare you! I gave Lilith a life. It was one that allowed her to have a career, to fall in love, and to have children. It was a life that allowed her to meet you. So don't you sit there and lecture me on what I did and did not give Lilith. Mary, I wish you were as giving as you think you are. Noah, everything I am stems from my faith, and it says, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. I have done that. Well, Mary, too bad your truth doesn't reflect your reality. Hello, Noah. Hi, Detective Harris. Thanks for all your help. Looks like everything you told us is true. But I still have a lot of unanswered questions that we'll need to talk about at a later time. Things that are bizarre and just don't add up. Anyway, the whole scene took me back a bit. But for evidence, we have to take some pictures. Are you up for seeing them? Perhaps you'll recognize some. Let's see them. this look familiar? That was Lilith's old room at the cabin. I don't remember seeing that stain. Well, it's in a very obscure place. Recognize this? No, not at all. Whose was that? Sorry, Noah. We can't divulge too much right now. I recognize that. That's where everything happened last night. Zack was lying to the left unconscious. I was slammed against that tree. Lilith was dragged into that pit. Interesting. All right, last picture. Do you know what this is? It looks like a piece of jewelry. Maybe a necklace? It is a necklace. Do you know who it belongs to? No idea. Okay, that's it for now. Again, thanks for all your help. I'll be in touch. Detective Parrish, did you see Lilith's body in that pit? No. What? And I can't say much more, but what I can tell you is the only thing we found in that pit was that green necklace. That's impossible! Excuse me? Nothing. What's on your mind, Noah? Do you ever think about the afterlife? Sometimes. Do you believe in ghosts? I believe anything is possible. What's really on your mind? Just thinking about how life is full of surprises. More often than not, life doesn't turn out the way we imagine. You know, 
In my backyard, I have a small garden. In my spare time, I go back there and plan all kinds of things, and I hope for the best. That garden kind of reminds me of life. What do you mean? Well, like a garden, life needs a strong foundation to grow, but harbors many fragile elements. We build our garden. We tend to it. We try our best to make it look like what we think we want, but it doesn't always come out the way we envision. It can be both messy and beautiful. I can't imagine life without Lilith and Gwen, and just the thought of having to deal with Mary soon. If Mary's garden was real, it'd be full of weeds and thorns. Even knowing Mary for this short period of time, I can tell she's fighting many demons. You two don't get along at all? No. She's evil. A monster. He who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself does not become a monster. That's Nietzsche. Why did you quote that? Noah, a lot just happened to you. You gotta have faith. But please, be careful of the looming monsters headed your way. Oh, oh.